since we're on the record, it's going to be now. You're willing to talk to them. And basically, the agreement we have here is a big bargain by deal. And it says that you will plead guilty to murder and kidnapping. Mm -hmm. And the state will recommend, and, I, and we talked about this, this is a recommendation from the state uh, through the prosecutor's office. It's not exactly binding on the judge. If the judge goes along with these things, who can? That they will recommend <coughs> nine years on the murder charge and three years on the kidnapping uh, to be run consecutive for a total of 12 years. Yes. Here's the thing, that's what their recommendation is on you. They will also, the state will not pursue the death penalty against the co-defendants. Yes. Now the co-defendants are your husband and your only child. Mm -hmm. okay. yes. And to, for you to carry out this deal, they want you to disclose the location of the victim, which mm -hmm. is summer, and, yes. and the details of the crime, and testify truthfully against the co-defendants uh, as permitted by law, as much as you know it, and this deal is dependent upon the confirmation of the location of the body and details of the crime, which we need to try to get her back. I agree. Okay, so tell me where she's at right now. You're working for this person? Yes, I do. And I don't see her in the city. Um, and uh, where the there's a, come out? There's a pond or something. There's, there. a, there's a water right behind. That's where we're. We thought about putting there real quick, but that's, that's where she ended up at. Okay, so there's third an artist, so I'm not going to laugh at your artwork late e either, so. Wait, yeah. So it's right behind the church there. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a pipe that she's inside of, anything like that? No, it's a thing. Like a cistern, um, a yeah. lid that you pop up. Mm -hmm. So it's like a, a cistern is like just a tank, and she's mm -hmm. down inside the tank. Mm -hmm. um, when did you guys put her in there? The same night that. Okay. Yeah. Give me just one second. I'll make sure these guys can do what they need to do, and I'll hear it back, and we'll finish. Yeah, you're going to send them out. They're going to confirm yes. the bodies in there. Yeah, exactly. got a done deal. We want her out there. Well, and I do too. You can. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah. We just started the very beginning. I know that Summer and you call it Willie, so it's Yeah. I know they were having some um, marriage issues and things. Yeah. I think it was some uh, custody. custody issues coming up. And I don't know what the arrangements were on the kids and all that. I, I won't get into that. That's something that we can get later. I'm sure they will try to get mm -hmm. <coughs> Whose idea was it to, to take her to get her? I think it was probably my idea more than anybody okay. because I kept on and on and on about, you know, why won't she work with us? We're only asking for weekends. And I thought she used to work with, with us on weekends and really does love some. And so it was your idea to kidnap her? To grab her. Did you know when you kidnapped her that she was going to end up dead? No. Oh Lord no. Okay. I thought I could talk to her. Okay. So the the whole thing was just to, to try to scare her and get some sense into her and then that's what Yeah. In my mind whenever I wanted to go there, it made sense that, you know, to <coughs> talk to her. That when I he got her in the thing he had to Bill Bill drove. Bill Bill never test her or nothing. Well now, wait a minute now. You mean when when she, when you Whenever got we drove out, yeah, we drove out. Bill helped him up in the helped her up in the car. Okay, I was gonna say because the witnesses yeah. saw police pull on driving. No, I wasn't police blonde. I had a Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was too. Yeah, they saw yeah. blonde here. Okay. I didn't have much sleep up and down the hallway. My mind is just so bloated. Well we take the time to Okay. Yeah. So my son I believe the things in other hand right here. It's like one of his ties. You just like it, it up and like a zip tie, yeah. like a plastic zip tie. Right. Well, let me ask you this. Um, let me draw another one. I'm going to be a good artist before the night, so I'm going to. Okay, now this is the bank. Mm -hmm. And here was the dumpster. Mm -hmm. and this was the alley that went down. Mm -hmm. And then there was a parking lot down here behind the B&B. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that was. And there were some hedges here. Yeah. Who was it that was at the hedges that actually grabbed her and then jumped out from behind the dumpster? 
Okay, so this is really good. In your mind, she was never supposed to end up dead. Uh, no, no. Okay. You were just going to scare her. Well, I'll try to talk some sense. Yeah. Okay. Dagger, you know, please let me see that you know how to check on everything. So when they got her into the car, what was she trying to do? She was. I don't know. He's right up her hand. Okay, so Willie zip, zipped her. Yeah, just zipped her hand. Did you guys ever take those off of her? Do you think she's still got them on? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of nice. I couldn't do anything. Okay, so he zipped the hands together. And what else happens? I'm sure that she was still struggling. No, <coughs> well, no, we were trying to say, you know, things like, well, there's me a lot. Things like, you know, why well, won't you give us a, you know, kids on the weekend? That's all we're asking for. We're not asking for weeks and aren't for the sick. We just want weekends. Mm -hmm. And I said, summer. I said, we got something to tell you. I, I said, I think it's best for the table. And he and he slapped him on us. He didn't want it, you know. And I, it just, it happened so quick in my mind. You know, that it's like I was telling us. And I don't know if I'm willing to talk with it. I, I don't know. Who was in the back seat? Okay. Did he try to put it on her feet or just? It was, it was looked like it was both on her feet and everything on okay. Where is that? Mm -hmm. It's on her neck? Mm -hmm. Is that what they used to choke her with? Mm -hmm. It wasn't me. Uh, my son was in the back. My, my husband was in the back. It wasn't what? It wasn't two people at once. Okay. So. She died as a result of what Willie did to her then? Well, he, I don't think he, he I know, I know positively he didn't do it on purpose. Okay. Because they were like, you know, he was like countering love her and, and this and that, and the next thing he knew, you know, it was like he blacked out or something, he was like, you know, where's the knife, where's the knife? He wanted to offer that real quick. Why did he put that on her then? I think he blacked out. You know, like, like, uh, um, I don't know how I explain it, you know, like, he just blacked out because it, he looked at me like, oh my God, you know, mom, where's the knife, where's the knife, where's the knife, and I couldn't find it. Was she, like, screaming and yelling and making a long racket? Well, she was, she was screaming and, and she was telling me that we'd probably never see this again. I don't know what anybody Especially in the bank of mine, where said with money and for her to say that. Did you see where he put that on her neck? No. Did your husband help him put that on no. her neck? No. I know he didn't need to because the look in his eye was like, oh my God, oh my God, Mom, where's the knife, where's the knife, you know? You can't. We all can't stand at that time. And then, at what point did you guys realize that she was not breathing anymore? You pulled over at King Helen's so real quick. Okay. And realized that. Where do you guys want to go with her? Did just you drive, her? just drive around anywhere. Okay. But at that point, you realized that she was dead, or yeah. she just wasn't right breathing. Right there, right there, King Helen, and we couldn't find them on the walk of the Okay. How did you know that to? How did you guys know to put her back in here in this area? By the church. By the church there, and actually, there's a river that goes right behind the church. Okay. Hey, can you hear me? <coughs> All right, I'm sitting here with her. Maybe she can uh, help guide us. But there's some kind of a uh, uh, sister in her tank or something. She's in it, along with um, property, purse, money, uh, private keys, and everything else. Uh, she should be zip tied. Yes, sir, that is it. Okay. It's just one line that is so, um, 
I'm real, and and if it weren't for me, you know, keep on, keep on, keep on about the kids. We would, we wouldn't have done that. I I know it's my fault. Well, it's all three of you. Mainly my fault. Well, but he took all three of you too. You, your husband and your son both held her against her will, put her in the car. They restrained her. I mean, it was all three of you. It may have been your idea to begin with, but they went right away. I never did. Anything else happened to her? Anybody have sex with no, her? No. Nothing no, like that. No, we said. Any other kind of uh, physical abuse on her? No, not that I know at all. So she was just zip tight here and then one put around her neck mm -hmm. and it got too tight and that's mm -hmm. what... And you think that that's what killed her then? Just with that thing strangulating? I think it? so. As far as my, my, my knowledge is, you know, that's all I, I can remember period. Because he's panicked, he's like, oh my God. And you're still saying that you had no idea that she was going to die when you went around. No. It's just something that happened with her willing in the back seat and just went that way. It just went that way. Was she kicking and, and thrashing around in the back seat? She was, well, where was she sitting in? She was kind of, I don't know. She wasn't setting up all the way. She was already doing a lot. I don't blame her now. It's, it's the stupidest thing I ever thought to do in my whole entire life. Whose idea was it to put her behind the church? Down in that thing. Down in that thing? That was the thing. Right. And you knew that tank was back there? Well, I, well, I knew it was back there was water. See, we're going to, the idea was to go ahead and try to put her in water? Like the, the river's back there? Yeah, that's what was in my mind. The river? Right. And then I see that tank, and I was like, you know, well, we must find her in here. And then I was like, saying that I think. Who carried her over again? Who dropped her down? I'm not sure. Because usually the lids on this thing weren't real big. Mm -hmm. So I would have took. A little bit of help trying to get her maneuver I, to I, where she was. I don't know. I, I wasn't even, I was so worried I wasn't even looking. And if I say something and people lie, I don't want to mess people up. Sure. Was, was your husband over there with Willie when they put her in the tank? Was I, he at least over there? I think he was in that general area, but I, I don't remember him doing it. I appreciate you telling us that. I've been able to say she was little. Yeah, I know Mike and Debbie very well. She's she's my she's a two-year-old girl too. I never had a daughter. Mm -hmm. Well, and sometimes we do things. For eight years, she's my daughter. And we know that we can't we can't do like take a quarter reverse and do things over. Exactly. Oh God, that's why I said I said I could just rewind it. And and there's no way, no way possible any of us, not me, Bill, or Willie, would have ever, 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 ever stepped foot in that car. But the only thing you can do from here is, is to follow his advice and do the right thing, and continue to do the right thing. This is what she did do the right thing. He did. And that's the only way you can help someone. Just keep doing the right thing. Right. My grandbabies keep flashing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to let that one, Mom. The girl up I didn't want not to have a dad. And it's all my fault. We'll do the arrangement tomorrow. Do me a favor. Yes. Would you see my kids out of these? I am so, so sorry. I if I get back up time, I swear to God, I would. I love Summer so much. I will tell them that. I was just so ashamed. You know? How could someone do that? You know how? You know, I love you. Because I've never been in that position. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and get you on down here and I'll uh, get you back around. I just can't do it like this.